Hi guys, welcome back to the E4 only rating climb. Uh, we're starting out at rank 300 and trying to climb all the way up to rank 1300 and trying to talk about what mistakes people make at different levels, how beginners can get past a thousand. And uh, against this, I like to push and then reinforce in the center. And today I'd just like to say a big thank you to uh, Mike Borowski and Jake Horsfield support for supporting me on Buy Me A Coffee, uh, link in the description if you want to support the channel. Only do so if you've, if you've got the money. Um, yeah, so, right, let's put in the center, if takes, we go here. Uh, so probably we build at the center like this. Um, so let me know in the comments what you're thinking of this series, guys. Because uh, it's just the second episode ever, so I'm not really sure how it's going to be uh, received. So, we've got a nice big center, I like that. So now probably just get the bishop out, get castle, try and play some principal chess. Even though we're playing at the lower levels, we've got to... Always respect the position, respect the opponents. And uh, here we can take damage the structure, but they're going to have a big open file to attack my king. Um, if here, it's a little bit annoying. Let's try it. Um, maybe we can push this pawn and blunt the effect of the rook. And now we can go after these weak pawns here. Um, but first, probably let's just do we break here if takes takes. I think we want to start breaking and centered since we're castled, but our opponent is not. So we've got to look for the key pawn breaks in the position. Uh, so queen here looks to disallow this this bishop's movement because of the pressure on this pawn. Uh, this keeps our pawn structure together and gives us a nice open rook, which seems as good as anything. Um, so now this looks nice. I uh, just hmm, that's a. Uh... The funny move so we can kick the the knight but then it can jump here the square is protected um yeah very funny move this to prepare this or just check straight away and if the, yeah this move's bad I, I just can't quite describe why it's bad it's putting a knight on the edge of the board it's not threatening anything it there's no clear tactic to actually win the knight Queen here going after this check, the knight can just go back. Um, and also the queen's defending this square. So let's just develop the knight. Adds a defendant to this square. And uh, maybe we'll punish this knight move later on. So if here, maybe we, we trade the knight off if it jumps in. Sort of admitting defeat at trading off their, their bad knight for my nice knight, but... I like the way their pawn is going to be defending my my uh, weak my, my weak backwards pawn here on c3 guys is the the base of the pawn chain and their pawn is actually now covering it which I like so it makes this whole structure quite strong uh so is there any benefit in coming in with the rook I'm just going to lift my queen then we've got pressure here they struggle to develop their bishop wow so if we take, they take, we take, our pawn structure's worsened. If we take, okay, let's go for it. I don't mind this. And now we want to restrict the queen from getting in. If here, what if this? Looks annoying, but then if this takes, takes. I'm extremely low on time, and uh, I just... Uh, I just hung a rook. <laughs> I've done a lot of uh, I've done a lot of talking today. Uh, let's see if he notices that the rook is hanging. He does. Okay. So now we are properly losing. Uh, we need to break and try and make something happen and get some pre moves on the board. Uh, start checking the king. Maybe we take a draw because this was the introduction and we we spoke a lot. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Not optimal, guys. We want to bring another piece of this. Bring the bishop in. That would be lovely. Except the bishop is uh, pinned. Not anymore. The bishop is no longer pinned. They've just thrown away a rook. Thank you. And uh, we're going to get serious now, guys. Uh, <laughs> we're going to get very tense. It's three plus zero. So uh, here I here. Which one? A check. And then... This check? Or 
maybe they blow like that, and then we go here. Uh, move the king. All right. Uh, oh my god. Uh, this. Uh, this. Not sure what to do. Uh, this. Not not good. Not a good move. Not a good move. But uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, we hang the queen, we hang the queen. Uh, this, and then uh, <laughs> seven seconds left. We, we maybe get checked. Uh, this. We, uh, we threw the game, guys. We, uh, time's still an issue. <laughs> Even against 300s, uh, time is still a big issue. And we just hung the, hung the knight. Uh, so we defend the knight. Uh, maybe, uh... <laughs> yeah. Pretty embarrassing, guys. Maybe one of my most embarrassing defeats ever. Um, two seconds left. We're just going to pre-move everything. Uh, see what they do. <laughs> okay, guys. That's the first loss of the series. Eight blunders. Um, first loss of the series was against a 300-rated player. So this is all good up until even this opening might not have been the best. But yeah, this was fine. That was good. Um Yeah, we played alright, it was just time. And then this is where we got low on time. Yeah, it's just just an absolute uh <laughs> Do I show that game? Oh my god, I don't know. Embarrassing. Let's show it. Let's show it. <laughs> we can all lose on time, guys. That's the that's the uh, that's the message of this episode. So, I was giving my thanks and and things like that. So let's actually the light just fell. My light's like perched behind the uh, the ring light. Uh, I just lost to a three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't seem very good. Uh, so we can develop and hit the hit the queen like this. Pretty nice. I need to remember I've not got increment. Uh, a big bad pawn in the center. Maybe try and get the bishops out now. How do we hit this queen again? This, this. Bosh. Okay, that just develops my queen. That's pretty nice. Uh, this would threaten almost mate. Except now the knight blocks the mate in square. So let's not lose on time. Let's just get some pieces out. Uh, so I'm going to play this and this and hit the queen. Turn my mouse sensitivity up so I can get, get extreme. Right, hitting the queen. They've got pressure on this pawn. Um, yeah, just shows guys, I, I cannot play three minute chess, like, <laughs> right, so, I, I might have to honestly go to, f go to uh, five minute chess, because this is a real struggle for me in terms of time, so, I mean, everything's hanging now, uh, so maybe we pin this, and then we can grab this pawn here. Uh, so take this, damage the structure, uh, take the pawn, this is hanging. We do need to watch out for our king, probably want to play this and this and just bring the rooks. Uh, yeah, so at this level, just a, just a hanging queen there. And what have we got here? Queen is hit. Back here, I think it's fine. So this coming to get the king up, and if this, we go here, hmm, so this checks in play, what if this just straight away, annoyingly the, the bishop and rook work together on that square, let's trade off this bishop 
because I don't want it synergizing with the rook. Okay, so that simplifies things a lot. And now, um, surely this knight, the nice knight is going to hang at some point. I mean, there's so many times this this knight has been loose, and this king is also checkable, and that's just a magnet for tactics. There's there's two things put together. I mean, they can actually play this, but it's, um, that sort of thing, that sort of double attack, is always in play when you've got an open king and a, a hanging piece or an undefended piece. So let's see if to find this now. Uh, so yeah, now let's just bring the king to its, to its key square, which is e7, guys, because uh, that stops the rooks ever ever coming into these three squares. Uh, so this square looks lovely, just pinning. And then we can even just bring a rook like that, and under the rook sort of undefended, but because this rook is pinned, we can just bring it along. Which looks very odd. So a bit better time management that second game, guys. Let's try and get to uh, what are we trying to do? Three, we're at three fifty. Can we get to four hundred in this video, maybe. So let's get the other rook. This rook is now pinned, which is lovely, and we can just do the same thing again with the other rook. Um, so yeah, guys, you see it, I've got clear time issues, um, but look at this, look how bougie I am, guys. Sparkling raspberry, well, it's actually water, but it's in a fancy bowl. So this, and we want to bring the rook. Not possible now, uh, but we can do this. Hmm, I mean, that's not doing anything. So check. Uh, does this look good? And this, winning the rook. Okay, so that's how you clean up, guys. Um, what's the fastest make here? This is almost mate. They just have this square here. So let's bring the rook behind and just trap off the king. And then this would be mate. That's they stop that square. We come in behind anyway. But they've got this. Um this link the link the king and queen and rook up. They want a rematch. I'm not going to give them a rematch. Oh, by the way, all these guys are going to be given their points back at the end. I'm just going to tell chess.com that this was a instructional uh, series. So, All right, so what do we do with the black pieces, guys? So it's E4 only course, um, which is what they've played. So do, is it, should we say, I, I don't know, as black we just do whatever or or what? This pawn break looks really nice because... Then we get two pawns in the center, and it's like a reverse queen's gambit -y thing where the bishop hits the pawn, and that is just a pawn. So now we've got a beautiful center. Um, they've they've got a real bad habit of pushing pawns, so I'm actually going to try and counter this with a with a lovely bishop here, and see if they realize that their rook is hanging. Yeah, they they just like pushing pawns. I can tell. Uh. And the, these pawns are, aren't really threatening, whereas mine in the center are looking pretty solid. Uh, so now they're starting to think. Uh, okay, so this looks like we can just trade down and capture. Uh, does this knight have any good prospects? Coming here looks a little bit annoying. Let's just develop a piece. I think they probably should have captured with a bishop there. The rook looks a little bit silly. Um, so we can develop the queen here and pressure the rook. We can just develop a knight. Path castle in, and then slide this bad boy back. So if takes, they take with checks. I actually quite like this pawn break. Trying to get their bishop out. Um, what about this? If we just pressure the, the rook. Like we mentioned. And now this bishop cannot come here. Or there. 
I don't know why. I, like this move was very understandable, but this move is it's um I, I don't know. Maybe maybe going after the rook. I see. Okay, going after the rook. So we just come across. Knights defended. So we can do this if we want to trade queens. Um, we could block this square off. That would be nice. These squares, could we do that? This check not working. I mean, this is a free piece. If they got any checks, I just need to be a little bit careful for a second. Um, my king is looking a little bit silly. Um, but I'm probably just going to trade the queens in a second. We're up a lot of material. Ah, so they don't let me check them. What about this now? Not working. Uh, this, just go in for the queen trade. Seems fine. <laughs> okay, they, they willingly exchange queens, even though they're down 14 points, which you shouldn't do, guys. If you're down material, you should try and keep pieces on the board. Uh, but let's just castle. I think they might be trying to win my, my rook or something. Let's just take that. Take this. Got a pawn and a pawn and a minor piece for the rook. Not bad. And now, probably the quickest way to win is push this outside pawn. Um, King can't get there in time. It's outside the square of the pawn, which is this. So here, here. Not in time. Okay, and now bringing the rook should be should be leading to some sort of ladder. Uh, I like this. Um, I like this bad boy. It looks very nice. Okay, not gonna analyze that. Zero blunders. Um, so we keep getting black, which is a problem in the e4 only course, but. Hopefully it's still still instructive from the black point of view, and we're going to be playing a lot of Rui Lopez and, and Italians from the white side as well. Uh, fifth bag, do we just go for a massive center? I I think people at this level, guys, th there's not going to be such a thing as overextending. Like, at the higher levels, you can push too many pawns, but at this level, I think it has such a cramping effect. People won't know how to, how to deal with it. Uh, so this is a free pawn, so probably can just take it. Are they going to go for some sort of scholars thing? I wouldn't put it past them. <laughs> Is that a misclick? I feel like they were trying to go there. I, th I think some. I think in their brain they did know this was a thing. So, yeah, it's unlucky to to Victor Ban. Maybe, maybe a misclick. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt. So back to E four, guys. On E4 and the climb. Do you want Italian or Rui Lopez? What do you want? What do you prefer, guys? So against this, the Alakai. <laughs> the Alakai. A 265 is playing the Alakai's defense, guys. And <laughs> yeah. Not not very well. So I think you've got to go like this. What is no this? And after this, they go here. And if you try and push this, then you get this. Beautiful square in the center for the knight. That's what the Alicante is trying to argue. Um, this is not the move because of the queen. Unless they're trying for some sort of trick. <laughs> Maybe this is their trap. Um, that's just another cheeky pawn. If this here... You know what you want in this position? You want a knight, a knight to get ready to sacrifice um, on this square. So you want to be able to go check, and then when they block, you want to be able to go... How do you get the knight there? You want to be able to go takes, and then after takes, you capture the rook. But I think it's too much of a faff to get the get the knight there, but we could get the bishop there. Let's try for that. Maybe they take this. Maybe they go after my queen. With the bishop. Jesus. All right. Okay, so this, does this work now? Uh, if check, here, take. 
I mean, it's their only option, and then we win the rook. Okay. Uh, so, but if but just it's just a <laughs> just, So we can win the rook, but then what about just this? Isn't that just mate? That's a a really cruel looking mate. I, I just <laughs> really horrible. Sorry, sorry, Shinoin. Um. So yeah, just. What we learned from that, guys, is just do not open up your king side with random pawn pushes like this. Uh, like, you know, they just say never play f3. That was just symbolic of that idea. So, we're playing e4 from the white side, so let's play e5 from the black side. That's like the most e4-ish move there is, so let's play that. Uh, so they're going after this. What about this sort of Staffordy Gambit thing? No, do we do so if they take... We can often play like this night out and if they take we get some activity in those positions uh so do we just take but then if they push that could be annoying take push i'd actually really like that what if this if this they push <laughs> no <laughs> it offered me a draw um all right let's take let's see what he's got yeah i think yeah pushing there was pretty good taking the queen is bad because uh, we just tempo the queen. But pretty interesting that. Do not go to this square. This is such a common thing at this level. They go to that square and there's this idea. Could be blocked with a pawn right now. but um, So we could go for a similar sort of thing. Hitting the queen with the bishop. Uh, try that. Maybe this is coming. And this would be a real threat now. So let us kick this bishop. Because this pawn push would be attacking the pinned piece. So let's expand on the king side, which I know I just said it's a scary thing to be doing. Now they're sacking. Uh, so I definitely want to defend this, but now this. But then the knight covers. So. Or just this. Getting out the pin with the queen seems pretty solid. And now we just up a piece for two pawns. Yeah, so this idea was working, and they've they've had their heart set on it. But is it, this was defended by by the knight, but it's no longer. Uh, oh, is this idea, and it's not blockable anymore. So if we can prepare that move with like this, but then they take. Um. Uh, how do we get a, whoops, whoops, um, how do we get our queen out of trouble, I was going to say, uh, that was obviously a misclick, um, so now what are we, down a pawn, so I, I was somehow trying to set up this idea, because they, they just had their queen and king on the same diagonal, it's not good, and now our position is looking a bit scary, uh, so, this but then they they just win them they win the bishop so it's actually a bit tricky to know what to do here this hit the queen try and somehow get the knight out um 23 seconds left we used a lot of time in the opening i think i don't really know how to play that opening if this forking the pieces if they give a check we don't care Oh, and they also hang the queen. Uh, we'll grab that. And then we are again under an absolute time scramble situation. So let's bring a rook. This should be a bit easier. The king is in the center. We should be able to find a mate here. Um, okay, bang. And then... That's nice. That's nice. We want that. Uh, this check and uh this create some revealed attacks that's uh, so wherever we move the bishop is looking pretty devastating and it should be like check and mate pretty soon uh slide bishop back which way here yeah the pawn can maybe block so probably like this is check and actually we probably should have just won the rook um, so this, 
they try and protect the rook, they get mated. So, yeah, cheeky one there, guys. So we just hit 400. Hope you enjoyed the second ever episode in the uh, E4 rating climb. I know it's black, we can't play E4, but what do I do there? Let me know in the comments. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you did. And uh, see you next time. Cheers. Also, probably the most embarrassing game of my life. <laughs> Maybe. Unrecorded anyway. So, yeah. <laughs>